Hello. Oh, I'm gonna do another Samus figure right here. The Samus another attack of the clones figure. This is my uh, first stop, actually, my first Samus action figure. And, um, this is, um, this is, this is a Target exclusive, but they don't have any anymore. RTD2, White Park Norris, and, um, Give me two back. And, um, the silver c 3 you all are asking why c 3 is silver. This is, remember that scene in Attack of the Clones where, um, he has this head switch, he gets, him and R2 get stuck in a droid factory, and then his head gets switched out with a bow droid, and the bow droid's head gets switched out with, um, c 3 head. But then, Kit Fisto had to, um, rearrange that, so, oh, sorry, 61. Okay. What um, the gimmick of this is, is um, pretty simple. Um, how you um, enter it? Let's go over the articulation. Hunched head, hunched shoulders, and swivel arm. He's like, he's like, things here. This is swivel too. Separate from the arm. Um. Elbows, so wrist, bones, or torso, so hips, knees, and bones, ankles. All you have to do is smile his head on the board. You rip his head off. See, there's a peg here. Some of the other C3PO's. And and um, we just want to go for it. As he comes with the bow droid head and then you snap it back on and then you get um, it comes with the bow droid gun too and you fit that in his hand but I don't really understand how how he could hold it I don't know even how he holds it in the movie well I've seen that part so I might think I'm crazy This is how he does it in the movie. This board doesn't come with the backpack. But it looks even cooler with, um, clone, um, it doesn't come, it didn't come with this, but, this, um, it didn't come with this clone blaster, but it looks really cool with it. Especially with the c 3 head on it. Does it come with that? Oh, it doesn't have to be C3PO. It could be like K3PO or what? TC14 protocol droid. And here's R2D2. Same articulation as, as regular R2D2. There's nothing super on that. But it's really cool that it's not just one matcher. I'm sure this is going to show up good. It, it has sand on it. Um, you could even use this for the tattoo. For the or tattooing when the when Jawa is looking for him and he wheels on the bottom so you could um, use him and drive him in. I like that. Yeah, that you could even take the light off and then use it when he's like pilot and being a co pilot of the ship or like when he's just standing there inside a canteen. But the cool thing about it is there's this panel and um, a, an, an arm. <coughs> I think an arm is. I think the arm, an, an arm is also supposed to come out of the side, but. You know. Also, there's this really cool feature. You open up this. It's so also reenacting the scene when he, when he pulls um, C3PO's head off. And RJD2 pulls his head off. And I didn't know, I never got to work until now. And all you have to do is, but this hook breaks easily. This little hook itself breaks easily. So you just clip it on like that. It's not really that sturdy. 
and then you just one spiral their head, his head, and then it will attract him. The cord is really hard to get out. I'll give these guys 10 out of 10. Today's service will be reviewed when we have a look at the attack of the clones. Um, C3PO and R2D2 with Bow Droid Head. Okay, say bye, R2D2. Say bye, C3PO. Bye. And say bye, Battle Droid.